All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the GSMC Wrestling Lawyer Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Our uh, first segment, we recently talked about um, uh, WWE SmackDown preview. Obviously, it's airing right now. Can't wait to watch it. Have not watched a single shred of wrestling content, um, you know, from, you know, TikTok, Twitter, you know, all the social media platforms, just so I don't get a spoiler, just so I, you know, we're in this together. If y'all haven't watched it yet and you guys stuck to my show before watching the, uh, you know, the event. So, hey, got to give, you know, kudos to you guys. You guys are y'all my friends. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're going to move on, though. We have Thursday night wrestling review. Before we go on any further, I want to remind you guys to use the tips and donations link at the gsmcpodcast.net. Um, you know, you can use this link to submit your questions. This puts your questions up on top so I can see it. We can have a nice little back and forth conversation about it. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you want to see happen um, on SmackDown. Talk about, you know, Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor. And, uh, you know, just speak your mind. Speak your mind. There's no wrong answers in terms of wrestling. Wrestling's mostly important basically because it, it's like this. You're in this world of creativity professional wrestling is it's kind of an art form it's kind of an art form it is entertainment it's one of the best damn entertainment you know um you know kind of you know totem poles in terms of you know just i would i don't want to say live because you know a lot of people don't really respect uh professional wrestling (laughs) But um, just like just something that a lot of people kind of look forward to and those who do uh, love watching it, they kind of hold it dear to their heart. So definitely, you know, a lot of wrestling fans, you know, when you mention wrestling, it's something that just makes them smile. And just like you just I don't know, like you hear Jim Ross's voice in the background. You remember seeing John Cena, Triple H on that screen, you know, AJ Styles. We just got done talking about him and now Cody Rhodes. So it's going to be interesting kind of moving forward. Well, so, uh, yeah, honestly, leave a positive review here at the GSMC Sports Network. We love peace, love, and positivity all the way. Um, uh, like I said before, the link is at the GSMC uh, podcast.net. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on here. We have our Thursday night wrestling review. So let's go ahead and start off with our, um, you know, TNA Impact. Uh, so, uh, like I said before, Matt Hardy and Ryan Nemeth were looking for blood. We're looking for revenge after the system took out, um, you know, Ryan's brother, um, you know, the the most the wanted man, uh, uh, Nick Nemeth. And um, ultimately, you saw Matt Hardy do what he had to do. It was very it was very impressive by Ryan. I was very impressed by Ryan in terms of, uh, you know, the the system and stuff like that. Uh, he came out guns blazing. A lot of these superstars like the broken Matt Hardy and um, Nick uh, Nemeth. I keep wanting to say Nick Nemeth. Ryan Nemeth hit a huge DDT and, you know, he tagged in the broken Matt Hardy. And uh, after that, it was just basically, you know, kind of history. Uh, you had Matt Hardy and Ryan Nemeth defeat the system. So I thought that was, you know, super dope. Definitely, you know, got to love that. And uh, I don't know, like, you have to, like, Nick Nemeth is, um, you know, I guess he was seen. He made it back to the impact zone, which is awesome. Definitely love the fact that, uh, you know, he's back. So, um, uh, yeah, um, a lot of other stuff kind of happened as well. You kind of saw um, a Dashing Chris Bay and Ace Austin are going to settle their differences inside the ring. Um, the Rascals are in action and, you know, they were in action on TNA Impact. It's definitely awesome. A lot of Matt Hardy, a lot of, you know, Nick, you know, Nick and Ryan Nemeth, which is cool, which is cool because you kind of have those famous brothers, those people, you know, those wrestlers that just draw you in. And I got to be honest, when, um, you know, when Dolph Ziggler left the WWE, I felt like that was a huge loss. But of course, he was let go during the, you know, the Vince McMahon era. I bet you Triple H is, you know, waiting. He's chomping at the bits until, uh, you know, Nick's uh, contract is up. And he's going to probably hit him back up. It would be absolutely awesome to see him back in the WWE. But he has so much success in the Impact. So maybe sometimes, although, you know, some wrestlers take a step away from the WWE and kind of branch out, kind of get better. And um, I don't know. You're just like, you know what? You got to tip your hat to him. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so we saw the Rascals against... Um, Against the Sinner and Saint, obviously Sinner and Saint did not do enough to defeat the Rascals. Love the Rascals. Um, I kind of liked how Steve uh, Macklin, uh, you know, ambushes them from behind, kind of creating this, um, kind of this future rivalry between the two. 
And, you know, just between the, the you know, just the group themselves and Macklin. Macklin recently has been just kind of like, he's been kind of going, he's kind of going Ahab, you know what I mean? Like he's, he's on a mission. He's a man on a mission. He wants to make sure that, um, you know, he's, people respect him. People respect, you know, the main man, Steve Macklin. So there's, uh, you know, a lot of good stuff. The good hands uh, uh, fought Cody Diener and Jake something, uh, you know, Jake something, I feel like he's definitely one of the most, uh, he's one of the rising stars in Impact Wrestling, although he does have a lot of experience. And I just, I don't know, I just, whenever I watch his highlights and stuff like that, whenever he recently, you know, he fights in title matches, he's in main card uh, events, he's in mid card events, you know, title matches and stuff like that. So it's not like he's just, you know, just that kind of like, you know, not, I don't want to say like a jobber, but, um, you know, I love Jake something. Him and Cody Diener were able to, you know, build momentum toward against all odds and defeat the good hand. So definitely thought that was, you know, pretty badass. And then we have Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace, uh, defeat, uh, you know, she defeated uh, Marty Bell. Um, uh, Marty Bell recently came back from, um, you know, she came back and her first match, she wanted to take on the TNA knockouts prestigious her prestigious reign how great and how dominant jordan Grace. i don't know what she was thinking man that's crazy that's crazy that's like i i, I don't even know man that's insane that's like bringing a that's like bringing a switchblade into like a bazooka fight you don't want any of that you know what i mean <laughs> next we saw the jody threat and danny luna against the uh, lars and tasha steels um, overall, it was a pretty good match. Uh, Jody Threat got a little too wild. Ultimately, you saw Tasha Steeles get the better of Jody Threat, which kind of sucks for uh, Spitfire because I love Spitfire as a you know as a as the you know TNA knockouts you know tag team champions. But Tasha Steeles, she's building on momentum too. There's no doubt that she's going to be the next one to fight you know Jordan Grace. Um, so yeah, next we saw Speedball Mountain. You saw Mike Bailey against Trent Stevens. Obviously, this was for the uh, number one contendership for the X Division Championship at against uh, all odds with uh, Mustafa Ali. And it was a good match. These guys, obviously, they're tag team partners. They um, I, they kept their, you know, they kept their real G. I kind of really liked it. Um, I uh, I definitely loved how, you know, although these guys, you know, there's there was actually, it seemed like there was real tension building between the two. Like I said before, I really hope this isn't the, a way for wrestling promoters to be like, oh, let's, you know, do singles pushes and stuff like that. Because sometimes it's better when tag team stars stay tag team stars. And, you know, you saw Trent Steven defeat Speedball Mike Bailey. So now he will be fighting it against all odds against Mustafa Ali. Obviously, you know, I love Speedball Mountain. So I'm going to be, you know, kind of backing them up there. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Uh, so moving on to Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor, the world television champion, Kyle Fletcher, once again proves to be dominant, impressive, and just one of the best wrestlers. You know, I did a power rankings uh, last Monday, and he was on there. He was on there for a reason. He he's This guy's going to be a huge star. Now, not that he isn't already, but um, he's going to be great. Uh, the Work Horsemen, uh, J.D. Drake and Anthony uh, Henry, Henry, defeated the Spanish Announce Project and Helico and Ser uh, Serpentico. Nyla Rose defeated um, Rio Von Slasher. Santam Singh defeated uh, Jimmy Jacobs. Shane Taylor and Anthony Agogo defeated Artem uh, Artemis Spencer and John Cruz. Uh, Daddy Magic defeated Mike Bennett, which was kind of surprising. Uh, <laughs> Top Flight Action Andretti and Lee Johnson defeated Grip Garrison, Go Cole, Carter, Tony Nese, and, you know, obviously the, the premier athletes. So, you know, definitely thought it was a good, you know, couple of episodes. Uh, Honor Club, definitely about to pop. Uh, I think they have a super, a super card coming up, uh, you know, in mid-June, I believe it is. Don't quote me on that. But you just have a lot of these young guys, like I was talking about at the beginning of the show. You cut like Cole Carter. Like I saw Cole Carter. Cole Luna, Cole Carter, uh, a couple of his highlights and stuff like that. And I love how AE does how um TNA is kind of just like they're changing the game. They're, I love the way how they kind of have their matches kind of set up. It's just not your uh, necessary, it's not your regular wrestling show. So whenever you watch Impact Wrestling, you know you're in for like something absolutely shocking. Also, the Ring of Honor as well. So uh yeah, honestly, if you want to, you know, kind of branch out from that traditional wrestling, you know, tune into Impact Wrestling, Ring of Honor. Every Thursday night, Ring of Honor, I believe is, I think there's a YouTube. I think they're live on YouTube and uh, TNA uh, live on Access TV. So, uh, yeah. So, guys, don't go anywhere. Our next segment, we're going to talk about our AEW Double or Nothing preview. We're going to talk about our predictions and analysis. So, hey, don't go anywhere. <laughs> 